Welcome to Vetlacto. Today we are going to discuss viral protein synthesis and the viral protein processing. Basically, we are discussing about the replications of the virus. We have discussed the early event in which we discuss the how viruses attach to the host cells and after that how viruses penetrate into the host cells and after uncoating of the viral virion capsid. Next is the middle event in which we discuss the viral messenger RNA synthesis that how messenger RNA synthesis happens in the host cells. Okay. But now we are going to discuss the viral protein synthesis that how proteins synthesize from the messenger RNA and after that how protein processes in the uh, host cell. Okay. And after that in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the genome applications of the viruses. So we are first of all we are going to discuss the viral protein synthesis. So that is the viral protein synthesis. Okay. So basically up till now we have discussed that formations of the formation of the messenger RNA that is the most important. Okay. From the messenger RNA, you will see the synthesis of the different proteins. Here is the synthesis of the different proteins. Okay. Through the translation process. Actually, this is the translation process. Translation process. Okay. Messenger RNA will translate into the different protein. Basically, in the synthesis of the proteins, with your proteins, you will see the two important proteins that is the early proteins, early proteins, and the late proteins. Late proteins so actually before the replication of the genome you will see the synthesis of the early protein after the genome replication you will see the late protein synthesis that's the most important thing genome replication why do we call some proteins are early some proteins are late on the basis of the genome replicated those proteins that replicate or translate Early genome replication, these proteins are actually called the early protein. And those proteins that are actually translated after the genome replication, these proteins are actually called the late protein. So in the early proteins, you mostly see the synthesis of the enzymes because enzymes are actually the proteins. And specifically those enzymes that are helpful in the replications of the uh, genome material of the virion. So that's why these proteins are basically mostly the enzyme that is the polymerase that actually synthesize the virus genome. Okay. And next uh, after in the late proteins you will see the synthesis of the structural protein. Structural proteins. So basically in the structural protein you will see mostly the capsid that's the most important thing. So ultimately you will see the synthesis of the virus. If you see here, two basically most important component that is the genome and the capsid. So in early protein you will see the synthesis of the enzyme that actually replicate the genome of the virus that is most important core a part of the virus and next is the late protein that is the structured protein that actually mostly in case of capsid that actually around the virus so now this is how viral pro protein synthesize so basically uh, this is not the simple process okay if you see here that is the viral protein processing that is viral protein processing Okay, so in the viral protein processing, so basically if you see here, this is the messenger RNA. 
from the messenger rna you will see the formations of the proteins now in that situation this is not a single protein actually this is the precursor polypeptide and the, this is the non functional okay and there are some messenger rna messenger rna when they translate into the directly into the functional polypeptide or you can say polypeptide here is the protein and that is directly into the functional polypeptide so that's the most important thing there are some messenger rna that directly translate into the precursor polypeptide okay and there are some messenger rna that convert into the functional polypeptide now it is functional it can be used in the different function but now in the precursor polypeptide you will see it will first of all break into the different components if i say here is the it will break from the center and now it will become the two components or two proteins after that they will become the functional and now the most important thing that is the protease protease enzyme actually break the polypeptide precursor polypeptide after that they will become functional okay you can say uh, this protein is the that is the helpful in the formations of the capsid and they are they are actually using other functions like uh, they are actually using the formations of the different enzyme so that's the most important thing you will see the two categories first convert into precursor polypeptide and after that they form the functional polypeptide then some virus messenger rna convert directly into the functional polypeptide so mostly uh, those enzymes that actually produce the protease and actually they first of all form the poly precursor polypeptide after they form the functional polypeptide you will see the f p t c that is the flavi family flavi virus family that is the picorna picorna t for toga and c for corona and the most important family is actually the retro retro will also now produce retro family of the viruses also produce the protease so these actually families that actually produce the protease because they form the precursor polypeptide and precursor polypeptide must be cleaved into the functional polypeptide okay important thing you have to remember all these aflevi picorna toga and corona families of the viruses do this process in the cytoplasm but the retroviruses do this process in the immature virions that's the most important difference which you have to remember okay but there is another thing there are some uh, viruses uh, like the influenza virus if i say influenza virus influenza virus because in that case you will see the segmented rna okay segmented rna it's mean that here are basically the different segmented rna so it's mean that each rna will form the messenger rna okay here is the formation of the messenger rna and from the messenger rna you will see the separation separately will protein synthesized from each messenger rna it's mean that now there is no need to cleave the proteins because here is the genomic rna that will form the messenger rna ultimately you will see the formation of the protein each segment will form the different proteins in that situation there is no need to cleave the uh, polypeptide that is the different case from this one that is the precursor polypeptide so this is all about the viral protein synthesis and the processing so if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much